What if I told you that deep in the heart of Africa, one man may have just rewritten the laws of energy as we know them? No fossil fuels, no sunlight, no wind, just limitless power from a generator that charges itself. This isn't science fiction. This is the story of Maxwell's Kombutso and his invention that could electrify a continent and shock the entire world. Meet Maxwell Chikambutso, the Zimbabwean inventor whose innovations have baffled engineers and scientists for over a decade. From self-powered vehicles to hybrid aircraft, Maxwell has never followed the conventional path. And now, he claims to have done the impossible again. His latest creation? A self-charging generator that requires no fuel, no grid, and no external energy source. It's small, portable, and, if real, utterly revolutionary. Maxwell's generator uses what he calls greener power technology. The system reportedly combines electromagnetic energy, nanomagnetic resonance, and proprietary circuitry that creates a closed energy loop where the generator produces more power than it consumes. Sound impossible? According to traditional physics, it is. But Maxwell isn't waiting for academic validation. He's already built functional prototypes. Insert animation showing the concept visually. No deep technical jargon, just intrigue. And what's more fascinating, these machines have reportedly powered homes for months completely off-grid. In many African nations, energy access is still a luxury. Over 600 million people on the continent live without reliable electricity. Generators powered by diesel are expensive, polluting, and often noisy. Imagine instead a world where remote villages could light up schools, clinics, and homes with silent, clean, infinite power, where cities no longer suffer blackouts, where energy poverty becomes history. This is more than an invention. It's a potential shift in Africa's destiny. Globe with meridians, the global implications. If this technology proves scalable and authentic, the implications stretch far beyond Africa. The $7 trillion global energy industry could be on the verge of disruption. Fossil fuel giants, utility providers, even governments, all would have to reckon with a future where energy is decentralized, affordable, and infinite. But breakthroughs like this don't come easy. They face skepticism, resistance, and sometimes outright suppression. Thinking faced naturally, questions remain. Independent scientific validation is still pending. Critics argue that such a generator defies the laws of thermodynamics. But then again, so did flight once. So did wireless communication. And sometimes history is made not by following the rules, but by rewriting them. So is Maxwell's self-charging generator the future of energy in Africa or just another dream too bold for its time? We'll let you decide. But one thing is certain, the world is watching. Green Circle, if you believe in the power of innovation, hit that like button. Subscribe for more tech revolutions the mainstream media won't show you. And drop your thoughts below. Is this the dawn of a new era or just the spark of something bigger? With all this potential, you'd expect headlines. Breaking news. Tech expose. But strangely, there's silence. Maxwell's generator hasn't made front-page news on CNN, BBC, or major tech journals. And that raises a pressing question. Why? Cut to visuals of news blackouts. Headlines ignored. Flickering TV signals. Some believe it's skepticism. Others whisper about suppression. The idea that major energy stakeholders aren't ready to let go of control. After all, if anyone, anywhere could produce their own electricity... What happens to the trillion-dollar utility monopolies? But behind the scenes, something is happening. Community leaders in Zimbabwe, Ghana, and parts of South Africa have quietly begun trialing Maxwell's units. Show testimonials of available or reenactments. One village elder called it the Second Sunrise. A school that used to shut down when fuel ran out now runs its computers, lights, and fans all day without ever plugging into the grid. And slowly, word is spreading, not through news channels, but from home to home, voice to voice, and screen to screen, just like this one. But innovation is only half the story. Scaling production, protecting intellectual property, and navigating global politics, that's where dreams often die. Maxwell will need partners, funding, and international support. Already. 
There are rumors of interest from Chinese tech firms, Middle Eastern investors, and even some quiet nods from Silicon Valley. But will those hands lift them up or try to buy them out? This isn't just a story about energy. It's about who gets to shape the future. It's about African brilliance leading the next chapter of technological evolution. Not from borrowed labs, but from the soil of the continent itself. Visual. Drones shot flying over African landscapes, transitioning into futuristic clean energy cities. Maybe, just maybe, the next great tech revolution won't come from a glass tower in California, but from a dusty garage in Harare. So stay with us, because the story of Africa's untold genius has just begun. This isn't the first time Maxwell has stepped into the unknown. Years before this generator made headlines in underground tech circles, he unveiled a self-charging electric vehicle that could reportedly travel hundreds of kilometers without ever needing a recharge. He also introduced a self-powered drone, a radio station that runs without external power, an aircraft that flies using clean electromagnetic propulsion. In each case, the pattern was the same. First disbelief, then quiet awe. Visual. Montage of earlier inventions, archive footage, diagrams, people reacting in amazement. Maxwell isn't just inventing devices. He's crafting a blueprint for a future where technology doesn't depend on polluting fuels or billion-dollar infrastructure, but on creativity, resonance, and vision. And across the continent, others are beginning to take notice. Young inventors in Nigeria, Kenya, Rwanda, and Malawi are starting to experiment with local materials, trying to reverse-engineer the magic, hackathons, underground makerspaces, and what SAP groups are buzzing with questions. How did he do it? What's the principle? Can we build our own? A new generation of African engineers isn't waiting for permission anymore. They're inspired, mobilized, and hungry for disruption. But not all eyes are friendly. There have been whispers of threats, sabotage attempts, legal pressure. Some reports claim Maxwell's early prototypes were mysteriously seized. Others say foreign agents attempted to buy a silence. Visual. Shadowy imagery. Blurred faces. Legal documents. Tense music. It's a reminder that world-changing ideas often come at a price. And sometimes the greatest resistance comes not from failure, but from success. Just imagine... Hospitals powered in remote areas, cities with zero power outages, children studying under lights powered not by expensive diesel, but by the imagination of a man once dismissed as a dreamer. Maxwell's invention may not just light homes. It may light the way forward for a continent long underestimated. Energy is control, and control is power. But if energy becomes free, clean, and everywhere, the balance of power shifts. For too long, Africa is a consumer of imported solutions. Phones made in China, tech built in Silicon Valley, and fuel from overseas. But with minds like Maxwell leading the charge, that narrative is changing. Africa is not just rising, it's redefining. From Harare to Lagos, Nairobi to Cape Town, the continent is home to visionaries who don't just imagine the future, they build it. In our next video, we uncover the secret testing site where Maxwell's generator is powering an entire rural community, 24-7, fuel-free. Eyes you won't believe what our cameras captured. Bell hop bell, hit that notification bell, subscribe, and get ready. Because Africa's energy revolution has just begun, and you're witnessing history in real time. Hidden in the rural outskirts of Zimbabwe, where dusty roads meet endless skies, lies a small, quiet village. From the outside, it looks ordinary. But at night it glows. Drone footage. A village fully lit at night. Children reading under bright lights. Homes power without noise. This is one of the first communities running entirely on Maxwell's self-charging generator tech. No wires. No diesel trucks. No outages. Just consistent, silent electricity. Day after day. Week after week. And here's the part that shocks visitors the most. There are no utility bills. The power isn't just clean, it's free. What started as whispers in Harare is now making ripples worldwide. According to sources, investors from Europe, Asia, and the Middle East are now requesting private demonstrations. Tech companies want licensing deals. Government energy departments from South America to Southeast Asia are quietly making inquiries. Display on screen. Confidential. Technology presentation request Dubai. 
And yet, Maxwell remains cautious, refusing to sell out, refusing to rush. He's insisted that the technology be kept in Africa, developed for Africa, and scaled on Africa's terms. But with growing attention comes growing danger. Footage, blurry nighttime images, reports of a break-in at a workshop, documents scattered. Just months ago, a prototype lab was reportedly broken into. Some blueprints were stolen. Surveillance footage was mysteriously erased. And just days later, two international IP lawsuits were filed in foreign courts attempting to block Maxwell's patent. Coincidence? Or something more sinister? The battle for control over clean energy has officially begun. Here's where things get even more intriguing. Sources close to Maxwell claim he's already developed an advanced second-generation generator, smaller, more efficient, and fully modular. It can power a home or a data center. Others whisper of an energy device that harvests atmospheric frequencies, drawing power from the air itself, bypassing all traditional sources entirely. And in a sealed container in a high-security room, one rumor claims there's a quantum-powered energy device Maxwell has yet to reveal to anyone not even his own team. In 1893, Nikola Tesla envisioned a world of wireless power, free energy transmitted across space. He was ridiculed, silenced, and forgotten by mainstream science for years. Now, more than a century later, a Zimbabwean visionary may have picked up where Tesla left off. Is Maxwell Chikambutso, the modern Tesla, or something even greater? Not just an inventor, but the architect of a new energy era for the global South. As we close this chapter, one truth remains unshaken. The world is changing, and the epicenter of that change might just be where few expected in the hands of the soft-spoken genius from Zimbabwe. Maxwell Chikambutso's self-charging generator may be more than just an invention. It may be a spark, the kind that lights revolutions, awakens nations, and empowers generations. This is no longer just about electricity. It's about breaking cycles, about rewriting a future where African innovation is not just consumed, but celebrated. In every dark corner of the globe, where power is scarce and hope runs low, there may soon be light. And maybe, just maybe, that light won't come from a distant foreign grid, but from the brilliant fire of African imagination, fire a generator that charges itself and powers a continent, this is the story of Maxwell Chikambutso. This is the story of Africa's energy awakening. And this may just be the beginning of a new world.